If there's a concert, um, a full-end concert, we have different setups for different events, but normally for an end stage concert, the stage would be here at the end of the arena. <laughs> and then this is actually where the Zamboni comes out for hockey games as well. Um, so for an end stage, this would all kind of be open here. We also have a theater set up, so you can kind of see the blue, the second blue line in there. Jesus, no man. Hey, I'm not supposed to say unfit. Is it my unfit, sir? Should I wear a blue shirt? Down the hallway, you can see past events that have been here too. People always love looking at them. Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. 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 Rihan
Head on in. Oh, this is our teacher. <laughs> So this is one of the luxury seats here, so yeah. sweet here. What these suites are used for for the companies that have them is to entertain clients that was mentioned right mm -hmm. um, to build business and relationships with your clients my days with the hilton that was one of my roles we used to have a box here when it was the hilton it was three down i think from where we are right now approximately is that right give or take I think so. and i used to <laughs> we used to invite our clients to bring them to hockey games specifically like the friday night london nights game right get our food brought in here privately, drinks, wine, and just really cater to them. But the real reason is for us to bring, make sure they come back and do business with us, right? right. That's part of it all. Clients. So client being clients. part of that. So. Ladies and gentlemen, um, obviously from here, we're gonna head down to Labatt Park. For those of you that are driving, if you choose to drive, remember there's a lot of construction over here. Okay, pardon? Yep, but I know some of you do drive or drove a vehicle down here. Um, that's okay, but just remember, you're gonna have to go back around Queens, go down through that construction to get down the hill. If you're walking, So basically, we reach on time. Never get to show you guys much. That was the first field trip. Now we're going to the next one. It's walking distance. We're told 11 minutes of walk. Honestly, guys, I'm tired. Today there's a come over. Um, Shelly. Today there's a heat um warning. So it's very hot today, guys. because I had to catch the bus reach kind of late-ish and but I made it in time I made it just in time for the tour um, basically that was the Budweiser Gardens as you can see they keep a lot of events there figure skating ice hockey WWE um, the monster truck jam they keep all kind of events there and they just have to set the floor accordingly so like for the ice hockey they set the ice from like a couple days before for the monster truck they get the mud and the dirt and everything so a lot of mechanics goes on into there i'm not gonna lie like i passed it before and i never knew that they did all these things so now we're heading to the other location it's 11 minutes walk so enjoy the scenery
Oh, for reach. Jesus. <sighs> Finally reach, guys. Is it this way? Yeah. We are an Aravina part today. So. <laughs> I don't see the entrance, no opening around there. I don't see any. Are, there, are those people sitting over there? Can you see? The I red thing? Yeah. No. Guys, every field trip, it's a struggle to find the entrance. <laughs> come, Arvin. All right, guys. So, so we'll teach her come. So, we'll teach her can shed a little light. Because we lost every week. I said, so we're lost. Where's the entrance? See? Good thing we see him because I tell you guys with a walk, you know. With a walk and the sun today. <laughs> it's them? It's them? Some people over there. Oh. That's our teacher, guys. about 50 55 minutes we're gonna start on this side of the park looking at the various signs over here really the early history of the park from about the particularly the chippewas of the thames first nation uh, the oneida nation of the thames and the muncie delaware nation uh, also i'd like to acknowledge uh, a number of groups that made this groups and people that made uh, this historic tour possible uh, and this area has a very long history at least 10,000 years of human history uh, prior to contact between north america and europe this was a very important meeting place for indigenous people here at the park. This first recorded game of baseball ever happened in 1838 in Beachville, Ontario. That's just up the Cora One from here, between Ingersoll and Woodstock, 45 minutes from the south. Uh, and there is currently a museum there that's dedicated to this first game. You can actually see the original four cards from 1838. Baseball came to this area probably around the same time. De So nice, you just want to look at towel with umbrella, igloo, look at food. Build where they play the baseball, all of the top baseball teams that I've ever played played on this field and your girl is on the field yeah yeah have the little grandstands in uh, Jamaica would I have the grandstand area
right so now i'm just gonna be putting on my wig um brushing up the baby hair lad she never says her ear did one comb and came her over anyway watch her squint up her eyes she can hardly see <laughs> So she just showed the edge control guys and I guess she can use it for brushing the baby ear them because her ear did well one comb but I guess she not plan for comb it. Then look how she had done the edge control in the ear rather under one week. I never seen nothing go say it. Why may I tell her? Hey, she, <laughs> she need her glasses you know? Why she don't put on her glasses? Which are to be use the phone screen. Alright, so now um I should check out her ear, I don't know. Oh what that you have? The stocking cap. Oh she put the stocking cap over her head. Yeah. Alright, she turn it you know. She turn it. She have one more thing. She ease it up a little bit. Um she left out the whole her big forehead. She'll fix it on her ears, yeah. Mm hmm Alright. Lord got she not done fix her now. Watch her. Put on your glasses, lady. Look how up she gone in the mirror. She said, hold on, guys. My can't sit bear with me. We should squint up her eye one more time. Alright. What is tinted lace by Ebin? Okay. I wish I'd do that on. What is that? <laughs> All right, just spray it on now. Mm -hmm. But I think she cannot spray on too much. Concentrated, she just spray it from afar. She looking for catch her, and you know, you know, so this girl late for class, and look at her. Yeah, fix your blouse. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! What is this? What is this? <laughs> what was that? Anyway, so we are continue watch and see what we should do and all this thing come out. I try to put it on in a less than 15 minutes. That never worked out. Went up to 20 minutes. And guess what? It's still not put on good because I'm rush. I fair use this now for hide it because I'm going to put the most in the baby hair. I don't normally win but the baby hair. I tie it down for you. I bet I'm never about to try to do that. One heap of mess up there. So I'm going to show now. Jesus, sit there. The ears start lift up though the lace itself. Let me show you now. Hold on. Watch there. <laughs> Don't laugh. Look here. No, sir. The lace starts to lift off. Good, good lift off. So, you know, when I come home, but I forgot to start it out properly. When I come home, I just take it off back and spend my precious time now. I'll do it on properly. I don't know why I'm never just drawn the next week and done. Because I'm looking like a hot mess right now. 
Well, a hot piece of mess because the ear not even get to curl up properly. But blaze come out here, son. The bus still not come. Watch there. No, sir. No. I want to come back and go home. Look there. It now stick now, you know, because the most. The most. So we can't go and hold it so I'm gonna like hold it with my hand either because it make it tacky and sticky and messy the most um thing there guys and the other thing you have to know which most feels because that most have been alcohol the other most I should I use but guess what I'm gonna now want to the other most it's a come out and watch it my hair was so good I'm gonna go put the most on it look there the most I melt and I make everything look out of place. So that, no, sir. <laughs> well, and there. This is a good thing I offer in me there. But don't me show no. I'm going to put this in front of me like so. I'm not even have no um, comb. Jesus, this. The artist thing, guys, I don't know if I'm going to present today or not. You know. I'm going to put this in front like so. With the hopes that nobody can really see it. This is not it at all. The bus is now coming, guys. This are the best we can do it. So can I put 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 the ear in front? This is the best I could do. So when I get home back, I try to fix it. So I'm heading to the bus stop. Well, I'm at the bus stop, but I just never want another sun, right? So, Lord Jesus, the ear. The breeze that blow the imperfection in the ear. Route 15B to Cranbrook and Commissioners via downtown. Alright, so because I know when I'm off the bus, I am basically going to be running to class. So let me do a few housekeeping. Welcome, welcome to this week. Well, guys, I know it's kind of all over the place. But the first clip that you guys saw was supposed to be a part of last week's vlog, right? Um, with the whole field trip that I went to week before that, right? And now, um, for the start of this week, you guys see me installing this 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 thing here. Um, so yeah, welcome, welcome to vlog 50. Now I feel how it's people matter. They say all I would did laugh from the last two. Just so you know. Just so no one is out. Just so you know. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Someone will come in and say I know exactly where I'm going. But listen to me. Guys, if you realize on my mouth is well twist. I couldn't do anything about it, right? Um few housekeeping. So somebody asked what did I do to my hair to not have the hair breakage as much. Honestly speaking, um, I stayed away from perm for 10 months. Well, I never have a choice. But in me staying away from perm for 10 months, and I wear wigs, I would just corner my hair and wear a lot of wigs and stuff. Um, I realized it helped my hair to grow. And a part of that, I also used um, a hair treatment called ORS. ORS hair mayonnaise. So every time I wash my hair, I wash my hair every three weeks. And every three weeks, I put the treatment in. And you, know, you put it in and put your shower cap for it to like steam and process. Also, for hair oil, I use Dilly Sparkles oil. Um, Dilly Sparkles, um, I use the three oils and I mix it together castor oil, rice bran oil, and growth oil. So that's what I did and when I went to get it perm after the 10 months um, the hairdresser told me that my hair is in real bad shape right so what she did she cut it as well because the ends was just but by then the back part had grown what had caused my hair to break was not only the weather here but stress high levels of stress um, the edges are going to point it out too because based on where the breakage were those are stress points in your head so it's like in my head all over you did have some like all in the middle the middle shot like the middle of my hair is short and stopped like this 
So source definitely eat off my hair. So that's what I did. And what I'm doing now, I'm still using the hair treatment and stuff. Yeah. Big up yourself, Anna K, Angus, Asait, Road, for 4K. For sure, like, me, 4K? Can't believe this. Like, it's surreal for me. Road to 4K. Um, who else? Also, Daniel. Big up to you, Daniel. Thank you so much for the support. So, Daniel is a new subscriber right here. And she said she found my channel. And it took her a couple weeks to catch up. But she finally catch up. Um and she has been binge watching me ever since and she really loved the video so thank you so much danielle all right um yeah so that's it guys see you guys when i get to school presenting so catch you in class 70 different food items yes it has a general admission fee of six dollars to speak about montreal it was discovered first by there are plus 55 games scheduled for the month of august in the year of 2022 the day you spend with your family and not just your family it's your community So we're not on a break. You guys did good. You guys did good. So, so scared. I hate him. I hate him a lot. <laughs> guys, she was trying to find our names because basically you're picking from a thing, right? Did one wugga, guys. <laughs> but they've never found one here without an ex. Honestly, I don't mind going today, guys, because. You know when you just want to get something over with? My partner doesn't want our names to get beat. I don't mind. I want to go. You want to go now? Okay. So she now wants to go, guys. So that's good. <laughs> Then I can hear that they would have carried a big bag. Just just turn it down. No, you can turn it down. Next group ready guys. Have you ever heard Muscoffa? Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, is this part of your assignment? No. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. Shelly. So this is your partner's not here? Okay. Yeah, we'll pick her again. Favorite. Mera, Mia, Merka, and Harry's sponsor. Go, Mia! Go, Mia! The planting. Go, Mia! Uh, good afternoon everyone. So everyone has set the standards very high for this assignment. Ours is very basic. So let's see how it goes. This and also all the images you see in this presentation uh, are, were actually taken by myself because I worked Ooh. in Jasper for four months as a room attendant last year. Okay, we just had eight really well done presentations. I think I could easily... What about Sunday, this Sunday, 11.59 p.m.? What, what, sir? What, sir? It's Tuesday. Oh, for the thing to be due? Okay. The, the weekly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The itinerary. The itinerary. Okay. The itinerary done Sunday, this Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Tuesday. Monday? Monday, 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 Monday,
Then I will play. Before we go, we like to say thank you, Heavenly Father. Anyways, guys, so class is finished and we didn't get to go today. Our names were not picked. When he asked for a volunteer, Obviously, we have us in my hand, so we see somebody else. And they went before us, so he said, Come next week, we're gonna be the first persons. Anyways, come next week, man, I promise no dress up. We're gonna wear a nice cut top and a jeans pants. Um, so I'm heading home now to do a to work on a project, a group project. Um, that's a huge project, I think it's. At twenty five percent or fifteen percent? Eh? You're there. Me talk to the girl and she tell me say me must all um badminton, but no, you you me talk about assignment and she busy. I buy badminton and um, badminton, but cause I go at Toronto and then I go play a game. She cared for her children and they're gonna play a game. And me over here stressing about assignment. Sit there, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a the skipping rope. Look a butter so. So look a ball and so. The birdies. Yeah. So I don't have the mesh. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna bubbles. No, not give the pin them no bubble. The big old teenager they me I give bubbles. They're adolescents. Everybody love bubbles. I went to a party that I had 13 years old. Them is how much? How old are they? 13 and 11. Nathaniel would love 13 and 11? Maybe the 11 year old. Love we love them. Come on, cheap one. Comment down below if you're 11 and 13 year old guy. Um, kids yeah, love bubbles. Love Everybody love bubbles. I'm not knowing her guys because we only have a 9 year old. And she loves love bubbles. Because exactly. she's 9. <laughs> Oh my god, I have a nine year old. Jesus. Uh, being funny. Reality just let me out. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I'll be going to um, the supermarket to yes, get two yes. little items. Literally, two little items. I'm gonna go to Walmart and I'm gonna go to No Frills. And then I'm gonna head home, so stay tuned with me. This is what happens sometimes when I'm done with school. I normally make a little stop here and there. Sometimes I go straight home. <laughs> As told by Amanda. Thank you. I don't have the comments. Your bill is fourteen dollars. Oh, fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollar guys. <laughs> When YouTube start paying me like that, <laughs> I can just say, no, don't worry, I'll cash it for you. <laughs> when you know you talk about me, what well, that means, the hot girl, hear you, but what care that? Mask, I watch never buy Ula Oop, guys, you know? I what care that? Who care Ula Oop Pombos? Hey, girl. What's up, what's through the bag? Canada, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is to be every week's random bus. <laughs> every <laughs> week. I'm going to look if I have one clip in on my phone. <laughs> hey, it's a random bus. She's always a random bus. I'm always a catch up on my camera. But that's why I don't post them, guys. <laughs> So we are now run. <laughs> you can catch it initially. One no.
<laughs> Run! Run! Yes, <laughs> I run. Yes, I walk. Them like the door fire. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Them like the door fire. Room full, all full. Can I get out? Room full. No, you have to fix it. You never have to fix it. Shall you not see it now? You see it now. <laughs> Later. <laughs> like and share the people. Guys, I'm just showing all the roads to see right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hey, the burn you get a little camera you see guys. You see my camera in my toes, in my smile, in my strut. So guys as you can see the road is closed due to um construction. So my bus stop would have been where that red truck is and I have to go farther. Jesus. Right now, I love now. The aisle where I want go. I'm not going in there with the dog. What's on the guy? A lion, we are the lion. Guys, she's the right. Which one of the show she's the right one? What is it you want? Arms, baby, hold on. Hold on, let me use them. Guys, the lady with her dog, my child. Oh, my I'm not mama. going down there with the dog. I have a dog phobia. phobia? Yeah. Guys, she's not understanding me. So me I'm not dog, you know. I'm not run dog joke, you know. And the lady stand up right. I want the one where. Oh, so she'll move the dog now, guys. <laughs> she'll move now, guys. <laughs> Is your father? Are your father? <laughs> Hey, father. No way, I'm falling. I'm going to fall. Sorry, that's the back of the band. So, pee pee, clock clock. No, sir. Can you see your window? Push your follow me, sir. No, sir. Guys, that's all the road construction. Let me come a little bit closer and show you guys. Oh, me. I love how far I say. She always a run down bus. I'm here to run down my bus now. Run? Me across. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us here, guys. Yeah. Come with me, yeah. <laughs> 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 but I'm just in the nick of time. Bye. You always leave me. <laughs> 
Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> It's Wednesday. Hi again. Um, so honestly, this week is not going as well it should for this vlog, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the viewing. So let me tell you what happened. So I have two classes today, but I'm here at home today and I'll be here at home today. I will not be going to school. But honestly, the whole class, not even at class, because based on what, based on my understanding, is only a handful turn up to class today. Where is everybody? So the weeks, it's coming down and we have a lot of assignments, a lot of projects, a lot of final projects. And I'm talking huge projects that comes with presentations and we have to put together brochures and hand and these are like different classes have different final projects which are different from other classes giving us individual assignments right so everybody's so today at seven we have a business plan final draft that is due and we have so many things to do for it we have to do layouts we have to do a pitch we have to do a brochure we have to do a handout and this is different from the plan we have been working on it but you know things still need to be tightened and i hope when my classmates see this video it was the look at sir the look at sir vlogging on the day i don't know what you guys are gonna get for this but i look like my beard my no my beard i had a shower i had to shower because but it just feel i don't know so i went and i took a nice warm bath well shower not bath shower and whew, put on my little lip gloss <laughs> and no i'm i don't know if you guys can hear the kettle i put on the kettle to make some tea and to make some breakfast and get this ball of roni is way 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 up north so um uh, here is uh, lake huron and georgian bay uh, on properties owned by the manitowoc uh, municipality so we're going to quickly run through this policy and i want you to see that many of the things many guys ready i know you guys can hardly see me but yeah so i have online so classes right now so i'm gonna get focused i guess yeah i'm 
not probably a tag because so I literally just wake up, teeth in a brush, face in a wash, boom class. You see, I love the convenience of this in class. <laughs> All right, guys, gonna focus. 9.31, then class is done. But we have an assignment. I'm gonna do a lot of things. I'm gonna get a shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, make some breakfast, um, and start my day. I have four to five assignments that I have to complete today. So, I don't know if you guys want to see that, but let's see. I'm going to get myself together, and then I come back and talk to you guys. Samir, no? Sisters and brothers on air. Samir, no? <laughs> oh, babe. I took a shower. <laughs> I don't know why Mickey Bunnels had to go out. I took a shower. Um, I am no... I am now um, making a little sandwich. I just put on the kettle. Face breaking out, guys. I just put on the kettle. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some school work. There's nothing really to show you guys for today. So I'm thinking that this might be the end of the vlog. I think I'll be ending the vlog like this, you know, guys. I'm doing five assignments today. And I'm going to just try to do it straight through while I listen to um, this blogger, right? Um, he's basically talking about the ongoing investigating case that's going on in Jamaica right now. Um, very, very, very sad situation. So I try to keep up with him. It's so hard because girl, I have to catch up on Auntie Dana, you know. You know, if you don't know me, and you don't know me, always I listen to Auntie Dana, right? So me have to catch up on Auntie Dana, so it kind of hard, but me have to really catch up on see what going with this thing. Um, it's a very sad situation. Um, what else? Oh, last night. So let me tell you what happened, guys. I'm supposed to stay at my bed, right? Because I woke up late for class this morning. Class is at nine, and I woke up. I woke up eight thirty, and I went back to sleep. But I ate last night because after doing so many work, I never get to eat. So I eat last night. Never wanted to go to sleep yet, so I had to let my food digest. So I'm saying, no one, my brain fuzzed right now. Let me watch something that will make me laugh. I see me on TV, man. Yeah, man, me the have to drop it on doing and carry, man. They make me laugh till a week. Thank you guys for coming out. And I still see messages coming in about them laughing. Somebody was like, Oh my god, Amanda, but you didn't have to vlog it. That's okay, guys. I just mean, right? Real, raw, unfiltered truth. It happens to the best of us. Because I'm sure a lot of us go to the dentist. And when you come out, your face look like a mess. Chamba, chamba. It happens to the best of us. If I was supposed to filter the process here in Canada, it would not make you guys have an understanding of what to expect. So the fact that I show you my unfiltered journey here with all the previous videos and stuff so forth, it makes you guys get an insight, right? True, true or false. And I was saying to another YouTuber the other day because she was on her channel. Um, she was saying that, you know, a lot of us content creators, we say things that discourages other people from coming here. Um, She's not bashing us for sharing our story. But basically, she's saying that we want to just paint a negative part of it and not speak of the positive. So, you know, I was commenting, I was saying, at the end of the day, if someone's journey has been bad right through, you really and truly can't bash them. They're just basically speaking their truth and speaking their story. It means that this can happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will happen to you in every single step, right? But I want to say to you guys, do not be discouraged. Well, psh, for the real love is on here. And those in my community support group, they're not discouraged by my story. 
if I should tell you they're even more encouraged and they know what to do and what not to do. So for those who are outside of that group or outside of that realm, when you watch my videos, I show both positive and I show both um, as well as what can go wrong. Do not dwell on the negative. Do not dwell on the bad experience. My bad experience won't necessarily be yours. However, you can take what you learned from me and my experience, good and bad, so that you can manage your expectations, so you can know what to expect, so you can know how to deal with situations and prevent things from happening like what happened to me, right? So that's my word to you guys. And in life, it's just the same. For me, when I was coming here, all the content that I watched Oh my god, I'm going to the mall. Oh my god, I'm going to buy perfume. Oh my god, I'm going to do this. Oh my god, I went out for my birthday. Oh my god, I went to school today. They didn't really do a raw and filtered. They did a sugar-coated thing. So it looks so beautiful. Glimity, glamity, glittery, nice. No one's I never saw anyone talking about the struggles face. So when I come, me I expect to see them glimity, glamity. Me expect as me come me jump into a job as me come me do this as me come, but it didn't happen and everybody's story will be different and so when I saw that what I'm going through is different from what is portrayed out there that mash me up honestly no lie I'm being honest with you and I know you're sitting there and I said but I'm not should at least think no if I see all the Nigerians all the Indians posting and everything just nice them they don't talk about whatever i wouldn't know right so it's when you live it then you know so i take it upon myself to share my story my truth through my vlogging so you guys can see the good the bad the ugly and it's not to discourage you it's for you to manage your expectations and for you to take the necessary steps and precautions so that your experience can be better than mine. That's all there is to it. And with that being said, guys, see you guys next week. Bye.